We've been blessed as the ELCA to be in relationship with our global companions for the entire existence of our church, blessed by the gifts that they bring to us, and also blessed by our opportunity to, in order to share with, with them. For over 30 years, we have been providing and offering scholarships to our global companions. Most often, their churches would recommend men, and we will continue to fund those scholarships. But we wanted to make sure that women leaders had a chance as well. And so we started International Women Leaders. This year, we have 25 scholars from 19 countries who are now studying in 11 of our ELCA colleges and university, really making a difference. One of those scholars is Tandewe Mshwango from the Evangelical Lutheran Church in South Africa. She is attending uh, Concordia in Moorhead and hopes to be a surgical nurse. This is just one example of a woman who's come to the States for education and then will go back to her homeland to serve and care for her people. I am so grateful to have had an opportunity to spend time on the screen with, with some of those scholars and to hear their compassion um, for this type of sharing and with their community is just wonderful, but more importantly, their passion and commitment to, to return home and to make a difference that others might come to understand not only um, the worth of gender justice, but how it can impact and make a difference for the whole of not just their community, but for the globe. And we've seen this firsthand. One of our first international women scholars uh, went home on break after her first year at one of our colleges. And she said one of the important impacts was not just that she was receiving this education, but then girls could take a look at her and say, ah, I too can go to university. And we know, we have a saying that if you wanna change a man, you know, send him to college or university, but if you wanna change a community, educate a woman. Amen.